started making this just now. So I'm Bache. Uh, I've been like a WordPress kid for a super long time. Like I think so at some point Jane, uh, the WordPress queen, when I was like about 14, invited me to a WordCamp in San Francisco. And when they invite you, they give you these bracelets, and the bracelets are like for an after party usually. And nobody knew I was 14, and I got drunk. Like as hell. And so in my like psychological mind, like my psyche, WordPress has been associated with like the greatest fun of my life, right? The alcohol help. So um, uh, I have a startup at the incubator in, the, in this area, and uh, we also have a uh, company called Pixel Five Six, and we provide web uh, solutions. And one of the main tools we use is WordPress. Even though a lot of clients ask for the fucking Drupal. We ask for, uh, you know, we try to sell WordPress as much as we can. And one of the things that, tools that we started using recently is this thing called Heroku or Heroku or Hero. And, you know, WordPress always says that five minute, two minute setup. If you become used to terminal, uh, my usual thing, I open terminal, right, this console in the computer. And I go to wget WordPress latest zip and zip boom done right. That's what I, that's my usual workflow. So recently in the last year we started working with Heroku a lot for deploying our applications, usually for our Ruby on Rails applications. And we're like, can we do PHP? Can we really like deploy PHP? And the main PHP we deploy is WordPress. The main problem we have is you're going to have to have MySQL, so that means you have to now have a different database set up. Uh, Heroku is really uh, made for Postgres. They never, they don't like MySQL. They chose Postgres and they stuck with it. You can install MySQL as an addition. Uh, PHP is not actually supported. I don't, will never sell this to a client. Like this doesn't work for clients. Heroku is not for PHP people. But if you're going to do testing for local, like seeing online and so on, this is really cool. The, definitely, if you have a development team and everybody's on Git, and everybody's using the subversioning system Git. It's really cool because they're all pushing. You could, uh, you know, merge the branches. You could deploy your branches and deploy the theme branch. Do not deploy the whole thing. Uh, so first thing you gotta do is make a Heroku account. You know, anybody want to try this? We could make a Heroku account and you know, so Heroku is really nice. One of the problems is that when you go to pricing you get like this total thing, right? This total thing on the site. And you're like, oh, what the hell does it mean zero dollars? It's zero dollars, right? They'll give you the whole cloud for zero dollars. You only need to pay when you have bigger databases, bigger uh, memory caching for the database. That's really when you're gonna need to pay. Uh, somebody here said PHP fog. PHP fog does not have a real free thing. You can't deploy and like make an application and delete the application on the fly for free. Like that doesn't work. These guys, you don't have to attach a credit card. You don't have to attach anything. Just sign up. Now it's kind of bullshit because you're like, it's zero. What do I get? You actually get the cloud. You don't need dynos because if you start adding dynos, it's like, do I need two, one? Like for shared hosting, people who are using like Bluehost or. Dreamhost or whoever host it is. You're being on a dedicated server and you're sharing the physical server with hundreds of other accounts. Each account itself could have hundreds of domain names. One of them gets hacked, they all get hacked because CPanel and Plask sucks. So here you're actually on the cloud, right? Heroku is uh, now bought by Salesforce. Their idea is that they develop this technology where they have hundreds if not thousands of uh, servers these cloud nodes around the world, you know, it's all CDN. You don't have to care how they do it. Just don't care how they do it. Forget about how they do it. They just do it, right? So what do they do actually? They're, well, they provide you this service that's really made for um, Ruby on Rails, really, Postgres, and you know, it's really made for Ruby on Rails, and then Scala, which is this really new language that Twitter and the big guys use. Uh, but we don't care about any of this shit, right? They support PHP. They just don't tell you they support PHP. Never. Like nowhere on their website they say we support PHP. So we're gonna actually just make an account right now and do this real quick. So we all just this domain name. So, um, 
that's it, right? It gives you this thing, my apps. You cannot create an app. You cannot anything on their website. It's totally useless. You have to open their magical terminal. You can't do anything with that terminal with these guys. So that's the only learning curve you're going to have. And internal, you're going to have to also, the second step, you're going to have to install this belt. This will install Git on your machine if you don't have it. It will install Ruby on Rails, I even think, if you don't have it. It will install their server system, their deployment system, all that. You don't need to know anything. So let's say I already installed it. What it's going to give me is this. It's just going to give me this character, right? And these are the things I could do. I could launch an app. I could create an app. I could you know, manage my apps. I could find logs. We don't care any data. We're just going to launch an app. So next thing you got to do is, well, have the open terminal. Next thing you got to go to GitHub, because that's where all the cool shit is. And what I actually, I mean, I've been developing with these guys WordPress Heroku. So this will make your fucking life really easy. WordPress Heroku is a WordPress. These guys just take WordPress every time there's a launch. They modify the WP config file. They added a little plugin that allows WordPress to work with Postgres. And that's it. That's it's just a flavorless WordPress. It's just clean. You know, they don't do anything shady. They just change two files. That's it. And copy paste. You know, I love copy pasting because I don't know how to type. So I'm just going to go to some folder here. It, there is some like learning curve here, right? You got to know how to use folders and stuff like that. Uh, you know, and type. You need to know how to type. So here, I'm just going to copy paste that and say, that was because we don't, I copied the whole thing. I don't know why people put the dollar sign, like you know the person's going to copy, why do you put the dollar sign? So, so what this does, uh, if you're not familiar with GitHub, GitHub is a repository system using Git. Git was made by Troubles, the Linux guy, because he hated the system called SVN. And Git allows you to manage files, uh, branches, and allows you to manage just the code base, right? I, I don't think that's a good explanation, but that's what it does. So what I did is I just cloned this project, which is all of the WordPress installation, right? As you can see, it's just this folder. And we're going to go to um, like my desktop, and you should see, here you go. It just made a clone of the regular WordPress installation. And you will see that the WP config sample has not been modified to use like that stuff, right? Uh, so it's using, it's gonna find your Heroku database. You don't have to do database setup. It's even simpler than doing like a local setup. So I just copy pasted that. Next thing it says, go to the folder. Okay, I'll go to the folder. I'm inside the folder. Now I'm gonna create the Heroku. Cedar is like the Heroku server, one of the Heroku servers you could launch. And we're just going to create a Cedar stack, it's plain English, I'm reading it. So now this just goes into my Heroku account and says, I just created Stark Ocean whatever, whatever. This is an actual domain name we created, right? For free. It just gave me a subdomain name for free. It'll do DNS for you for free too. If I get my Heroku account right now, I go to my apps, I should have, oh shit, I shouldn't because I didn't log in as, sorry, I was logging in my older account, so I'll just, yeah, I'll just log on and log in my older account. So, you know, I have a bunch of apps on this, all free, I don't pay them anything. I only pay for the Amazon services whenever I need, I have a, another account. So we just created a Stark Ocean, Right? Here's Stark Ocean. This is the domain name at starkocean.heroku.com. Uh, I could now, oops, sorry. I could now attach, this is really freaking cool. I could attach where Stark Ocean. Uh, I could change the DNS at like my hosting company. I could attach Stark Ocean to this. And you know, I'll show this in a second. So we did that, we created it, it created it, cool. We're gonna now create a database. This is a free database for, with a five megabyte cache. You don't need to know. What, so the, it's just like how many times you're pinging, they're gonna allocate for free five megabytes in RAM, in, in access, right, in uh, memory. 
And so now we have a database, and just character just creating a database and attaching it to my Stark Ocean. These guys are super hippies. Like every like every app is called like you know uh, blooming, fierce, gentle, hollow. <laughs> it's like Frank Zappa's kid you know? So this is Stark Ocean. And now I'm just gonna git checkout. So what, what I'm doing, git checkout, I'm just creating a production branch, right? So I just created a production branch and went into it. And now they're just saying copy the sample and make that into WP Company, because WordPress always has that sample one. And then when you know you guys do you start it and it says you're ready, Sparky, that process, that installation process, that takes a WP Company file and duplicates it and then puts your uh, database info in it. So that's why we're just copy pasting the WP Company file. Uh, we're adding git ignore to ignore like um, to just ignore stuff, to ignore like uh, the uh, hidden files. And now we're just, this is my first commit. Git is you make something and then you commit it to your git rep. So we're just committing uh, this and this is the comment. So I'm going to say hell yeah free WordPress. WordPress, WordPress. So it's been committed. I'm going to push it now. I'm going to push whatever I have on my computer to Heroku. And when I do this, magic happens. Heroku is crazy. So it first gets the files, right? We're just uploading what we just had. It's going to, you know, slow internet. It's going to grab the files. It's going to find out that it's PHP right away. It's going to bundle Apache right away to the stack. And that's it, right? And now it's ready to deploy. Now, this is really scary. So, where is uh, Stark Ocean? Stark Ocean? Voila! Right? Stark Ocean, done. We skipped all that installation. It's actually cool. If you had this, like, you could create like a little thing. Anyway, so all we gotta do is say, hell yeah, site. Right? Admin, admin, and, you know, Matt Malone is gonna fucking freak out in his deathbed right now. <laughs> I remember there was like one thing and there were like uh, people who use root root or admin admin are fuckers even on their local host and then somebody went out and showed a presentation and said admin admin like the whole crowd and that's <laughs> anyway so that's it we just finished the WordPress installation in like under two minutes right if I didn't speak so much <laughs> and that's it